Okay, so what does this look like in practice? So let's go to our Windows machine. This is essentially the earlier video. If you haven't seen this, uh, go check it out on doing live messaging. What I'm going to do is type in echo. So on the left, we have our application A. On the right, we have application B. And on application A, in really we're in the cmd.exe command shell, I'm going to type in echo username. And take a look, we are indeed administrator here. So now I'm going to start putting messages into the queue on the left, application will put, application A on the left will put, application B on the right will get, and I can type in anything uh, that I need on the left. So for example, if I say, uh, this is a test of MQ, on the right we'll see this is a test of MQ. But the question is who wrote that? It says administrator here. But that's not what our channel said. There is no administrator account on our Linux machine. So to find out how it was written, we can go back to our RFHUtel program, click on, load your queue, put your queue in there, and then go to, and actually make sure that the queue is actually the right queue, right? So we were writing to system.default.local.queue, and then click on display queue, and then we say, hmm, there's actually nothing in here. So why do you think there would be nothing in there? Well, it's because we were getting all those messages out. And remember that a get is a destructive get, so it won't be there anymore. So in order to do what we want to do, we don't need to do, we can't do live messaging. What we really need to do is put a message that has not yet been got. So this has not been got. There we go. And now we can go take a look because remember we, we we didn't see it here, right? It's not there. It's not running anymore, in fact. So we should be able to click on display. And sure enough, there is our message. What we're going to do now is click on start browse, although you can already see the answer to this question. And sure enough, look under data. This is this has not been got, okay? And it says the message data. So we can see how much data there is. We can see which queue it's in. But take a look if you want to see who wrote the message, you can do that here under MQMD user ID. The user ID is MQM. And sure enough, it says user ID, the same thing that we had seen in the MQ Explorer and in the channel authentication records. The user ID is MQM. Why? Because it was mapped in the same way we've been talking about. And not only that, but if I go back to the MQ Explorer, and I go into channels and I adjust this so that my MCA user is blank, which by the way means that it will run as administrator, as an administrator account. If I completely remove that and now I go retry my test from before, we're going to immediately see something very interesting. If I close this out and I try to do another put, we get an error immediately. And the reason for that error is because well, what is the reason for the error? Let's look. So I open up a putty session and I log in as MQM and then I'm going to open up our, this particular path, var MQM, Q managers. Ours is called CFQM. We go to errors and then sure enough, there's a file there that lists our errors out. And if I go to, down to the bottom of the file, you're going to see the Q manager user ID initially initialization failed for administrato, right? It didn't pass all of those uh, the entire administrator over, and even if it did, there is no administrato account listed in this Linux box. So what do I mean by that? Well, take a look. There is no administrato, right? Which is, of course, uh, not, not surprising. But if I do this, grep admin, there is ICFM admin, but no administrato, and so we get a failure.